Hello everyone, right here I have a 2022 Honda Civic 1.5 Turbo E And today, I'm going to make a startup and full vehicle tour video of it Show you the features, inside and out So, here is the key fob. Let's go ahead and start it up first. The FE Civic in Malaysia does come standard with a remote engine start system. So, to use the system, first make sure the car is locked, then press and hold this button. As you can see, the side mirrors are currently folded out. Upon locking the car, they automatically fold in. And upon unlocking, they automatically fold out again. Another standard feature for the Civic FE in Malaysia is Honda's version of a smart keyless entry and start system. So, just have the key form on yourself. The car is currently unlocked. To lock the car, press the ribbed area on any of the front door handles And to unlock the car, just wait a moment and tap the area again behind any of the front door handles Along with the smart keyless entry is a keyless push button start system. So to start the Civic, make sure the key fob is inside the car. Put your foot on the brake and press the start button to the right of the steering wheel. The FE Civic comes with a rack and pinion steering system with electric power assistance. Standard across the range is a leather wrapped steering wheel with contrast stitching going around the inner rim and sport grips at 10 and 2. In Malaysia, the Civic Turbo comes with a continuously variable transmission as standard. Also known as a CVT in short, this transmission does not have a fixed set of gear ratios. Instead, it uses a continuous range of gear ratios to ensure a smoother drive and better fuel consumption over a regular automatic transmission. In the e-trim, the transmission features a sport mode and a low gear mode. Another two standard features across the range are a reverse camera along with front and rear parking sensors. The reverse camera display features active guidance signs and three different views. Safety features in the Civic include 6 airbags, an interlock braking system, electronic brake force, distribution, brake assist, vehicle stability assist, hill start assist, emergency stop signal, a driver attention monitor, an alarm system, and an immobilizer. Honda Sensing Driver Assistance Suite is present as well, and this one comprises forward collision warning, a collision mitigation braking system, lane departure warning, a lane keeping assist system, and road departure mitigation. Isofix child seat anchor points are found on the outer two rear seats. 16-inch 5 twin-spoke two-tone alloy rims are present on the Civic E. The Civic rides on 215 55R16 Continental Contimax Contact MC5 tyres. Disc brakes are standard, with the ones in front being ventilated while the ones at the back are solid. McPherson struts and the multi-link system are what the suspension setups are, front and rear respectively. The Civic is Honda's most popular vehicle. It has been around since 1972, with production spread across 11 generations. 
Depending on the generation and the location, the Civic has been sold under different names with different body styles on offer. Same goes for engine choices as over the past 51 years it has been on sale, the Civic has been offered with a multitude of engines, ranging from carbureted petrols to turbocharged diesels to even direct injected petrol hybrids. The 11th generation Civic made its debut in April 2021 as a 2022 model year vehicle. Two body styles are offered with the current Civic, a 4-door saloon with the FE codename and a 5-door hatchback with the FL codename, the latter is marketed as a Civic hatchback. The coupe body style that has been available between the 5th and the 10th generations has been discontinued due to declining sales. Now in its 6th generation and bearing the FL5 codename, the Civic Type R sits at the top of the 11th generation Civic lineup. A restyled version of the current Civic is sold in China by Guangxi Honda as the Honda Integra, as the Civic itself is already sold by Honda's other Chinese joint venture, Dongfeng Honda. In Malaysia, only the FE Civic is available, and went on sale in January 2022 for the petrol variants, with the hybrid variant falling on later in November 2022. Currently, there are four Civic variants on sale in Malaysia. They are 1.5 Turbo E CVT, 1.5 Turbo V CVT, 1.5 Turbo RS CVT, and 2.0 E HEV RS E CVT. Powering this Civic is Honda's L15 B7, 1.5 liter, dual overhead cams, 16 valves, turbocharged inline 4 petrol engine. This engine features direct injection and VTEC technology. It produces 180 horsepower at 6000 rpm and 240 newton meters of torque at 1700 to 4500 rpm. 0 to 100 km power takes 8.3 seconds and the top speed is 200 km per hour. 47 liters is the fuel tank size and the combined fuel consumption for the Civic 1.5 Turbo CVT is 6 liters per 100 kilometers. 148 grams of carbon dioxide is emitted per kilometer, and the Civic is a front-wheel drive vehicle. Exterior features of the Civic E include automatic auto-leveling LED reflector headlights, automatic high beams, LED daytime running lights, LED indicators for the front and the sides, LED rear lights, an LED rear number plate light, body-colored door handles and side mirrors, and dual exhaust pipes. Window control, bottle holder, storage, the button pops open the boot lid, mirror controls, central locking, window lock, and your window controls. All of the windows in this car are powered, while the front two windows are the only ones that get a full automatic function in both directions. Interior brightness adjustment, vehicle stability assist, parking sensors. This one brings up your driver assist menu within the instrument cluster. Civic floor mats and the driver's seat in this Civic E does get full manual adjustments. The Siva controls the seat back, the Siva controls the seat height, while this bar down here controls the seat position. Alright, so let's go ahead and see how it revs.
single zone automatic climate control system on off fan speed temperature automatic mode maximum cooling recirculation front and rear defrost air conditioning different modes storage power outlet USB-A port to connect to the system Cup holders Econ mode for the engine And right here is the Civic's electronic parking brake It is currently engaged to disengage it Put your foot on brake and push the lever down To engage it, simply pull the lever back up There is a brake hold function for the parking brake Whereby say you arrive at a stop such as a traffic light or traffic jam the car is in drive, you lift your foot off the brake. With the brake hold function activated, the car won't actually move forward or roll back. The Civic E comes with the display audio touch screen head unit. The system features a 7-inch infotainment display, various media connectivity options, and 4 speakers. The stock sound system that this Civic uses is actually quite good. We are currently in the CarPlay menu with the current song playing information. The album art will show up here if present. Right here we have the title. The artist and album will show up here again if present. You can play pause, go back a song, go for the song. Song duration. Below you can activate your shuffle and repeat. As well as bring up your love and suggest less, less like this options. Playing next goes to your playing next list of songs. Hit back. And we can look at your library with your recently added songs, playlists, artists, albums, and whatnot. And right above, you can also select playlists and radio. Hit this button to go back to your current media playing information. And to the right, you have shortcut buttons for Google Maps, music, phone. And below, we can go to the main CarPlay menu where you can look at your phone, music, Apple Maps, messages, and whatnot. And right here, you can look at your calendar, settings, Google Maps, and WhatsApp. To the left, we have the navigation, you can go to a destination, bring up your voice command, and control the media. And to go back to the Honda menu, hit the Honda button right here. Right here, we have your media information once more. And if you hit menu, we can bring up your sound system settings. With your bass treble, balance fader, speed volume. You have your Bluetooth settings, clock settings, smartphone settings, display adjustment, touch panel sensitivity, rear camera settings, language, license information, and you can perform a factory data reset right here as well. And obviously, if you hit return, we go back to the previous menu. Connect goes to your CarPlay system. Media goes back to this menu. Radio obviously goes to your radio menu. And if you hit phone, it goes to your phone menu. If you are connected to CarPlay, it will go to the phone menu in CarPlay. If you are just connected via Bluetooth, it will go to the phone menu in the Honda system. Alternatively, if you are connected via Android Auto, it will go to your phone menu within the Android Auto system. Seat track, volume and power knob, and right here you have your um, tuning knob or your selection knob as um, shown earlier. As shown earlier, this car does have power folding side mirrors. To fold the side mirrors in from the inside, press this button right here. Central locking. Light and indicator controls. Adaptive cruise control. Right here is the button for the lane departure warning system. Wiper controls. Seat track, volume controls, different media mode selection, voice control, and right here we have the multi information display controls. This one goes between the different sub menus. Hit the home button to go to the main menu, and then you can use the wheel to go between the different main menus. 
right now driving data with the range average fuel consumption instant fuel consumption and trip a trip b and back to trip a you can also display the speed and time with the average speed elapsed time and again trip a and trip b seat belt indicator maintenance information safety support you can select road depart road departure mitigation or collision mitigation braking system settings with the vehicle settings driver assistance system setup meter setup and whatnot You can customize the display. No content. Vehicle information. And back to the driving data. The steering wheel in this car is still telescopic. You adjust it using this lever right here. Front center armrest with storage down below. You have a smaller storage area right above. And you can move it to this position if you want it to be in this one. Manual dimming, rear view mirror, LED reading lights, they also double up as your interior lights. Sun visor for the driver's side does get a vanity mirror. And also for the driver is a grip handle. Alright, so I guess that's it for the startup. We can turn it off right now. And continue with the rest of the tour. Speaker, storage, window control, I did set the driver's seat to a position that I would feel comfortable in. I'm about 5 foot 7 which is about 1.7 meters tall. There is a bit of room to stretch out my feet underneath the driver's seat. As for leg room, I get about this much. And I get about this much in terms of headroom. It is actually quite nice and spacious back here. The seats are soft and comfortable as well. On the front seat backs are storage pockets together with small cutouts that help with additional leg room. Rear aircon vents in the middle with a couple of USB-A ports down below for charging. Rear center armrest with cup holders. And right above for both sides at the back are grip handles and for the right side there's a hook as well. Cabin light
pop the boot lid open, you can use the button inside the cabin that I showed you earlier on, the button on the key fob, or the touchpad beneath the Honda badge on the boot lid itself. Boot space in the Civic is 497 litres with the rear seat bags in place. For extra space, the 60-40 split rear seat bags fold down by pulling the levers on the top of the boot. On the top of the boot as well is a light, and under the boot floor is the vehicle's spare tyre, toolkit, jack, and warning triangle. Adjustable headrests, front and rear. Window control, central locking, speaker, bottle holder, storage, and the front passenger seat in this car does get full manual adjustments as well, with the same set of adjustments as found on the driver's side, just that this side loses out on the height adjustment. Nicely sized glove box. Grip handle for the front passenger. And the front passenger's sun visor does get a vanity mirror as well. Alright, so let's start it up with the door closed. Alright, so that's it for the startup and full vehicle to a video of this 2022 Honda Civic 1.5 Turbo E. Thanks for watching and goodbye.